What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Wux Official. And in today's video, we're talking about the C8ZR1. I told you guys, Chevy's got some cooking in the kitchen. I did see Chevy looks like they're trying to do some cooking in the kitchen. They're not doing it with the Camaro, but they're trying it with other vehicles. Well, I got some of it right here, guys. Chevy's been doing some teasers, and they did confirm. So we do have it confirmed that there is a C8ZR1 coming. Now, what type of motor and all that other stuff, we can go into that later. But if you're new to the channel, baby, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit all on that bell notification so you're notified about all posts. Let's go ahead and dive into this car. So diving into it, if you guys didn't already hear me say this, this car is supposed to be coming out this summer, 2024. So looking at the C8 Z06, we have a 5.5 liter flat plane crank motor that is a high revving motor. It's naturally aspirated, but the C8 ZR1, guys, we know what we know what they've been doing. Chevy's been doing with the ZR1s in the history. They've been forced induction, baby. So expect this C8 ZR1 to be no different forced induction. But the only difference is it's looking like this C8 ZR1 is going to share the same motor as the Z06. Now that isn't confirmed, but there are lots of talks about this 5.5 liter flat plane crank motor being in the c8 zr1 which if you guys thought that c8 z06 ooh, 670 horsepower naturally aspirated and if you guys don't know what naturally aspirated means that means no turbos no superchargers pushing 630 guys we haven't seen numbers like that pretty much ever from a naturally aspirated car so that those are some stout big numbers for sure and if you add twin turbo on this there's lots of talk with this car being twin turbo it's going to be efficient they're probably going that route for the efficiency and you can have a fuel efficient vehicle as well. So that's the pro about having the turbos. Obviously supercharged route is no joke either. So either route they go, more than likely it's gonna be twin turbo. That's what we're seeing rumors wise. Now with what they've been doing history wise, they've been staying with the supercharger route. They might switch it up. This is going to be a great performer. This car is going to be track built like they've always been. So the question comes in, people say, oh, so are they going to be a straight line car like the Dodge with the Dodge Demon 170? Guys, I don't think that's a question at all. Now, is it going to be a track beast, street legal track beast like the Mustang GTD? <laughs> That's a great question. It quite possibly will be. Now, lots of stuff to look for with this car. With this car, but what I'm hoping for on this car also is, come on, let's not get that Mustang GTD price 300k. I think it's safe to say we're not going to see those numbers. Hopefully, because 300,000 just isn't it. That's house money. So let me know what you guys think about this car. I think this car is going to be an absolute monster. Flat plane crank boosted. What more can you expect? I'm expecting 800 horsepower. Now, there are rumors that Chevy is going to have this another car. I believe it's called the Zamora Edition, or you guys can let me know if I'm pronouncing it right. But that one, oh, you thought the ZR, the C8 ZR1 was going to kick ass? Look at the Zora Edition, or what's predicted. This one is estimated to be around 1,000 horsepower. So, incredible numbers. C8 ZR1 is not going to let you down, obviously. But... I'll let you guys watch this clip with the sound. Actually, I'll stop teasing y'all with that. And it's your man, Will. I'm out. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share the video.